Hi guys, Stribbers here. Welcome to episode 4 of my PGR2 Road to Platinum series. In the last episode, we did four races in the Sports Convertible series. And we're going to do the last two races in this series. And then the first two in the next series we unlock. So, the first race is a speed camera. And this speed camera did my head in. 106 miles an hour on platinum and I must have got 105 miles an hour about 15 times in a row This was a real pain It all depends on this one corner and getting this one corner right And then getting the exit speed you need So 106 miles an hour is the target So you need to take this corner really tight on the inside And then use the track as much as you can Going out wide and then accelerate down here and I just minimised the turning so I just went straight here, obviously I hit the wall but I got the speed camera before the wall so I just minimised turning just to get the acceleration as much as possible and just managed to get 106 miles an hour every time before I got 105 so it is doable but it's pretty difficult this one one of the more difficult ones we've faced so far and then the next race and last race in the series is a street race Porsche Boxster again, going for a purple this time. And I think this has got six cars, this one. I think all the races from now on have six cars. So we've got the Audi TT Quattro, BMW Z4, sorry, M2. And then the S2000 Porsche Boxster. And the S2000 decides to let me through there. So it's Porsche Boxster against Porsche Boxster again. Catching him up on the straight. I'm not sure how. A nice little pass line around there from him, but still behind him right now. And this is the corner that we did the speed camera on just before. And if you go wide there, actually, even though you can be faster coming out eventually, I seem to have overtook him on the inside and actually lost sight of him completely. And there he was behind me. I thought he was to the side of me, but I couldn't see him. Big jump there. You can get some good speed through here. I couldn't remember um, what sort of corner that was, so I did break a little bit. Very, very nearly hit the barrier through there. Map one of three complete. It's actually quite a long race, this one. Minute eight seconds lap time, so three three minute plus lap, uh, three minute plus race. This is a long straight. This one uh, took that corner wide and then came in for more speed. You can see I drop in the Porsche there. I didn't take that corner very well at all. Coming up to this corner again. Bit of power sliding coming out of there. Losing a little bit of speed, but... See how wide that computer takes that corner? You just drop him now. It's clear daylight. Nearly two seconds, actually. And again, I didn't get that chicane quite right there. Had to break. 27 miles driven in the Porsche now. See really far ahead now. This isn't this is quite easy this race to be honest. Street races generally throughout the game you're not really gonna have too many problems with or the um, one on ones for that matter. It's gonna be mainly uh, the cone challenges, the speed uh, speed cameras and also what's the other one that's gonna be difficult? Cone challenges, speed camera. Oh, and time time runs and hot laps as well. They're quite hard as well because you have to literally have the perfect lap. Taking the same line through there. There's not much you can do when you're in front. Just keep driving and watch them disappear. The car behind is only four seconds now. With these wide tracks, and if you've if you've not got another car next to you that you're battling with, you can just 
can take it easy really, you don't have to drive ridiculously fast through everything. Position bonus, fastest lap, 1758 kudos. Z4, Audi TT and Toyota MR2 are still running. 6,000 kudos, ranked up again, rank 12, and we've got so many kudos tokens now. And we have unlocked a new series, the Coop series, is now open. All the Platinums in the Sports Convertible onto the Coop series now. So we're going to be doing a timed run and a street race. So let's see what the cars are in this class. So you start off with uh, the Honda Integra Type R and the Mazda RX-8. And the Mazda RX-8 is just a better version with better acceleration, slightly more power sliding, but the slightly better acceleration is what's going to cause you to choose that car. And then this is weird. They've got the Audi TT Quattro and the Audi TT. And the Quattro's got acceleration about, I think it's five or six, and the other one's got two, so I don't even know why you'd pick the other one. I think it'd be a real-world drive. Then we've got the Nissan 350Z, the Audi S4, and the BMW M3. So the BMW M3 is uh, quicker. Well, it's, they're quite similar, actually, the Audi and the BMW, but it's got one on power sliding, the M3. So for hot laps and time runs and street races, this is going to be the one to pick. So we're going into a time run now. So we've got a minute 28 to do two laps. The time remaining is in the top left. And then you have your individual lap times that you do. Driving this car, this is miles quicker than the Porsche. This is a little hard to get used to, actually. But the brakes are pretty decent. And we've driven this track before, or a similar track, in the uh, Compact Sport Series. One on one, I think it was. But this car is seriously quick to drive compared to the ones we've driven before. So, 44 seconds, or 45 seconds it was remaining, and 44.9 uh, on the lap. So, you can tell this is going to be quite close to whether we do this. Hundred and thirty two miles an hour before we reach that corner. I think that's the quickest we've been so far. See it already starts counting down now from ten. So now you're getting the warning that you're getting close to finishing and we're miles away from the finish line, so I did not think we were gonna do this. And it was so close. Literally, I think it was just over half a second. So I didn't do some of the corners very well, so you, there is a little bit of wiggle room. Um, so, yeah, I think it was 700 milliseconds, was it? Passed by, yeah, 0.7 of a second, so doesn't seem that much, but in racing terms, it's quite a, a large amount, actually. Over two laps as well. Uh, so the last race of this episode is going to be a street race. I'm going to pick the M3 again in white. So I believe that in this race, the M3 and the Audi S4 are the, the two cars that cause the problem here. Because these are the cars you just overtake straight away on the first straight. So they're just out of the equation, not really there for any competition. And then we've got, I think that BMW is yellow, yet, yeah. And the Audi is in black. So we took that corner quite nicely, actually. Managed to overtake the BM there. Drafting behind the Audi S4 now. Trying to slingshot past him here. But he sort of shuts me off. I had to break a little bit there, leaving no room. And then the Audi S4 decides to just crash into the barrier and leave this open for us. But then the BMW sort of shoves me into the barrier, and leaves me no room to get around there. So just shove him out of the way slightly. We're in the lead, coming into the second lap. Just over a minute lap times again, so this is quite similar to that, uh, the length of race we had with the Porsche. 
Comes to this corner again, breaking harshly. Now I didn't do that one particularly well. As you can see, they're catching up around there. I think. Uh, I think is the Audi still in front of? The, yeah, the Audi's still in front of the M3 here. Um, I think the M3 does eventually get ahead of the Audi. Then it does start to catch me up towards the end of this race because I don't do some corners very well. Go flat out around here. See, so yeah, I power slide a little bit too early, so if I carried on, I would have hit the barrier there, so I had to adjust slightly, so it slowed me down. Back down to this ridiculously long straight, coming up to lap three. Under a minute for that one, 56 seconds. BM, is the BM ahead now? 1.4 seconds behind. And again, I took... Yeah, I could have gone a little bit quicker on the inside. Yeah, the BM's right behind us now. So it's BM against BM. Back on the other long straight. 1.2 seconds behind, so he's gaining on us. Tried a bit more of a cautious approach coming up to this corner and then failed miserably. And he's right behind us there coming up to the finish line, so a bit of a closer race this one. But we come in first again, so that's another race ticked off, another clean race. 200 for position bonus. So the Honda, Mazda and TT Coupe are still running there. Seven kudos tokens, ranked up again. Ranking up every race still. 93,000 kudos in total. Oh yeah, and that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So next episode, we're going to do the speed camera, one-on-one, -on -one, cone challenge overtake in this series. So the next four races in this series. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.